the night before Halloween technically it's just about to be Halloween it's about 11 30 p.m. and uh, I am sitting on my back deck we are about to do some night fishing this will be my first night fishing video um, I understand that there will not be a lot of usable footage there will be just a lot of uh, talking because I am stickler for keeping my headlamp off unless absolutely necessary um, at least until I'm hooked up but um, you know if I do end up hooking into something I will quickly turn my headlamp on so you should be able to see everything from there but um, keeping in the spirit of Halloween tonight I'm throwing the Savage Gear 3D Bat that's all I'm going to be throwing I just had a hook stuck in me. Um, I have caught stuff on this before. Unfortunately, I have had a lot of missed hook sets, big blow ups. But so hopefully, if I do have some blow ups tonight, um, I'll actually hook into them. But uh, I do want to say, I hope everybody had a good Halloween because by the time this is ever edited and made it to uh, YouTube, um, if it makes it there at all. Uh, Halloween will be over with so hope everybody had a good Halloween thanks for watching and uh, let's hope that we go hook into a monster bass right now let's get this going so my headlamp has three settings and personally I try to keep it as dim as possible when I'm having to use it for moving around I try to not shine it towards the water and then once I get in place and I know that I'm not going to step on a snake or anything then I turn it off here we go So I try to be very stealthy. Um, if I'm throwing a big bait like that and there's a big splash down, I like to let it sit for a minute before I begin to retreat. Also try to keep stuff just very slow. We are in that fall transition, so hoping there's a big old bass that's going to see this bat and think, oh, there is a big, juicy, warm mammal midnight snack so I can fatten up and get ready for the winter. I'm glad that dog finally start bark stopped barking. It gets kind of creepy when they're doing that because you never know. We definitely do have coyotes around here, so that's always a possibility. Of course, there's foxes and raccoons, which are cool as long as they're not rabid. Let's go over here and cast. A lot of times, deer will sneak up on me and scare the crap out of me. Well, let's go for a little walk. There 
There goes the dog. Other than the dog, it is very quiet out. So this bait is actually a nice, so bait. Not too loud, but it's actually it's a good kind of bait that I can just retrieve for a second and then let it sit. And out here in particular, I've had the best luck they've hit stuff more when it's just sitting than when it's retrieving like what happened with my rat bait a couple nights ago it is insanely dark out tonight sneaks up on me. I thought I had a heart attack the other night. Just saw a rabbit. Like I said, I'm always worried about. I'm not scared of a fox or a raccoon. But if they're rabid, it's a whole other story. Technically a deer will still attack you also. It's a buck. I feel like I'm like making a horror movie or something. Cows are screaming. You hear that? It's always so creepy. As you can see, when I get stuff caught on my lures, I will turn around and look away from the pond when I turn my light on. There goes a bat, like right there. They fly right around near the surface of the water going after bugs so I'm sure the bass are just hoping that one of them's gonna fall in and get stuck I'm fully expecting a deer to walk up on me yeah yeah oh yes Yes, motherfucker! <laughs> it was just sitting there. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get my grippers. Yes. Yes. Biggin, son. Biggin. On the bat. Where's my pliers? Yes. Caught me totally off guard. I was looking at a bat over there. I'm sure me and this one have had encounters already. Come on. There's one hook. Did 
dude holy crap it is like right underneath my grippers come on man get off of there yes yes look at that baby look at him let's weigh him thing is like don't tell me come on please work zero out for me there we go four point you see that four point four point four all right. Yeah, me and you have had encounters before, haven't we? That's what I'm talking about. Let's see, I need to turn my headlamp off. Come on. All right. Yes. On the back, baby. On the back. Here we go, 4.4. I'm gonna have to end up in the water to get this guy back in. Man, oh man, I can't get over there. I wonder. Oh, These shoes are wrecked anyway. Go ahead, go ahead, swim off. There he goes. <laughs> I can't believe I just stepped in this freaking water. <laughs> That's one of the f up. <laughs> That's some cold water, too, dude. It's like, I don't know, it's probably 50 degrees out here. Oh man. All right. There's one on the bat. You saw it here, folks. Happy Halloween. Whew, that water was cold. I didn't want to have to just toss him. That's a big baby to just be tossing. Wow. Yes. Got hooked good too. Wow. That's what it's all about, guys. Night fishing is where it's at, dude. Do some thick shit. There's even bigger ones than that out here. So that's what I want. Going dark. See how he hit it like right at the bank. Most of my fish, night fishing, have been right at the bank. Although I see big splashes everywhere, all out in the middle, everywhere. And you see that he he hit it while it was just sitting there for a minute. Who knows how long he had been watching it. My feet are so cold right now. <laughs> I'm in North Carolina, so even though it's 50 degrees out here, the water's still pretty warm. It was almost 70 degrees earlier today, so. What the f happened? What the f
Oh. My line broke. And my lure went out there. I got tangled up behind me when I was casting. I'm so confused. You know, I wonder, because like the hook kept getting tangled. I wonder if the barb ended up fraying that line to the point. Guess that's going to be the end of this video. Let's see. We're probably going to roll up on some deer now. sucks. I was hoping to catch at least one more. Naturally I didn't bring any other baits with me because that was the whole point. I see some eyes. There's one, two, three, four. You see him looking at me? One, two, three. Three, four. I hope they're there. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Dude, that one's eyes look totally different. That's weird. It's like a different color. Can you see that? Creepy. Alright guys, that is going to conclude this episode my very first video of night fishing uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while because this has very quickly become one of my favorite ways to fish which uh, you know getting into the colder months is gonna come to a halt but uh, I mean it's just man the adrenaline rush it's just it's amazing man the quality fish I mean, it's just like it's a whole nother world um, you just gotta experience it and try it out it's, uh, I've been wanting to do one of these videos for a long time. Um, it's obviously it's you know it's very hard to get any kind of quality video with it being dark. And um, again, uh, in my opinion, I think it's very important to keep uh, lights to a minimum. Uh, you know, bass fishing it'd be totally different if you were cat fishing or something. But um, yeah, I, I think I may look into. I'd like to maybe try to use utilize a, um, a trail cam you know some kind of camera that has built-in night vision um, especially you know, I'll be working on that through the winter and, and be ready for next mm -hmm. summer but uh, anyway at least you know we caught that one pretty decent bass about four and a half pounds there and uh, I mean it was just awesome man I, I got pumped after that and uh, it sucks that I uh, I had to step in the water some to release that fish, but you know it's better to do it that way and, and not toss it and, and risk hurting it. And obviously, it really sucks that uh, that my line ended up snapping and I threw the bat out there. And I'm just you know fingers crossed that it will still be there when I get out there to retrieve it tomorrow, and that the bass doesn't end up you know hitting it and having it stuck in its mouth. Once again, happy Halloween, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.